Could the incredible Tesla Roadster become the first truly great flying car? We've designed a flight module to see how far a pure electric version could fly and whether it could make an affordable autonomous air taxi. The modular design avoids spoiling the car's performance on the ground. The car drives onto the frame which connects it to the base of the car. This is quicker than a roof connection which could be difficult to connect in high winds. It also minimises the need for structural changes to the car which could potentially keep its retractable roof. The tilt wing flight module is efficient at higher speeds and includes range extending batteries. It could be connected at tester stations, creating a major new flight network. There are also over 20,000 helipads, airports and airfields in the US. Quick stops would enable longer journeys. And during quiet times, the flight modules could be used for deliveries, reducing costs. With no pilot or fuel, short private flights would become affordable. So, how practical is this? Based on the battery size, the Tesla's power may be roughly a megawatt or 1300 horsepower. Compare this to the Vahana by Airbus with eight motors generating a total 360 kilowatts or 480 horsepower. The Vahana has a maximum gross takeoff weight of 725 kilograms, while the Roadster may weigh around 2,200 kilograms. No problems here. The main limitation for electric aircraft is range. The Vahana can only travel up to 50 miles. This is fine for many busy, congested routes like JFK Airport to Manhattan, which could be cut from 40 to around 10 minutes. It also covers 95% of commutes in the US. Vahana projects that a larger 1500 kilogram version with a 200 kilometer range would cost around $1.50 per kilometer including production, storage, maintenance and electricity. This compares to an average of 60 cents per mile for cars and around $2.50 per mile for taxis. The flying Tesla would be heavier than the Vahana with more drag but could still offer a door-to-door -door service at a surprisingly low price. We asked two aerospace experts how far it could fly on its own battery and they estimated an impressive 80 to 100 miles. This is, of course, based on incomplete information about the Roadster, but additional batteries on the flight module would likely make up for any shortfalls. And emerging battery technologies promise to enable much longer range electric flights. Batteries use one of the metals from the left of the periodic table, which want to give up electrons, and another from the right, which want to gain them. Atoms near the top are lighter. Lithium-ion batteries could theoretically be 50% lighter. Lithium-sulphur batteries could be 70% lighter than this. And lithium-oxygen batteries, a distant technology, could cut battery weight by 95%. Over the past 20 years, battery weight has dropped 50%, enabling drones to take off. And as the trend continues, cars will follow suit. Glorious front row views. A new, more civilised Mile High Club. And an endless choice of pre-programmed air coaster rides. Medics will move faster. Drone blood deliveries are already saving lives and cheap air ambulances will follow. Disaster relief will be accelerated dramatically. But what about Musk's hint about applying rocket tech to cars? Perhaps a flight module could enable a quieter liftoff before rockets kicked in. It seems like a fitting way for him to get around.